the University of Alberta Land Reclamation Lab. My name is Yi Han Zhao. In today's video, I'm going to give you a lab tour and show you what I'm studying. First, I should explain what land reclamation is. Land reclamation is the process of converting disturbed lands to its former or other productive uses. It can involve removal of contaminants from water and soil. Our mission is to turn this a coal mine to this. Now, let's explore the lab. We have many things here, like workbenches, um, like sinks, storage bags, oven, microscope. Like fridge, incubators. We have lots of storage of things from volumetric flags to beakers to test tubes and more. Chemicals are locked up in these cupboards. I work here in the lab. For my work, I'm looking at removing contaminants called heavy metals. Heavy metals are metallic chemical elements that have a relatively high density, such as cadmium and lead. Soil and water can be contaminated with heavy metal from many industrial activities, such as mining. Heavy metal contaminated soil and water pose a serious public health issue. Its accumulation uh, which means more and more views up in plants, including vegetables from soil, is the main exposure pathway for human beings. Other animals can be exposed to this way too. In my experiment, I'm going to compare three different carbon-based adsorbents to see which is better at removing contaminants. Adsorbents are usually a solid material that acts as a sponge that stick and hold other materials uh, like heavy metals. By comparing the different adsorbents, we will know which one we should use for reclamation and to reduce the risks of heavy metals by removing them from the ecosystem. This will make more land available for us to use for farming because we will have removed the metals if we have more lands available for farming, then we have less likely to run out of food. The adsorbents I'm testing are two types of humic substance products and cattle manure biochar. Humic substances are dark organic residues of decaying organic matter. The two humic products are made from coal. Biochars are charcoal-like materials. Cattle manure biochar is made by burning cattle manure. To test how well these materials absorb the heavy metals, I need to use a shaker. This is used to mix blend or agitated substances in a tube or flask by shaking. First, we mix the heavy metal solutions, which has a known amount of lead in it. Then put absorbance in it and shake for 24 hours until they reach absorption equilibrium. This is when no more heavy metals can be absorbed or attached to the material. Now we filter the remaining mixture using a syringe filter. This removes all the remaining adsorbent particles from the liquid samples as they may interfere with my following measurements. Then we take the liquid that we filtered and we analyze how much lead is left in the sample in a commercial laboratory. This allows us to know how much lead the adsorbent removed. Essentially, if we know we put like 100 mg per liter lead in at the beginning and there is like 20 left in the liquid at the end, then we know the adsorbent removed 80 mg per liter. We then repeat this with all of the adsorbents to see which removes the most lead. As a land reclamation scientist, I work as a nurse doctor. This type of research can help us investigate ways to help the earth. By understanding which adsorbents is better at removing tablets, heavy metals, we can help heal the earth from human activities and make a positive impact on the world we share. 
Thank you so much for watching future energy systems video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our exciting content. Check out the links below to our website and learning page where you can find activities, learning extension, and more. You can also sign up on the website for notifications for future videos and interactive opportunities. There's so much to learn as we explore our energy future.